Good morning, I'm Amanda Morrell with interest.co.nz, filling in for Bernard Hickey, and welcome to 90 at 9, brought to you in association with the Bank of New Zealand. This is your morning briefing where you get to know everything you need to start your day, starting in 90 seconds now. Another wake-up check for the New Zealand dollar, it fell a full cent overnight, dropping to 83.10, continuing a downward pattern that started on Friday. It's declined two cents in two days. Oil prices are also down. Crude light oil is currently trading at 86.60 US a barrel. That's down from 89.80 on Friday. Stock markets in the US will reopen today following a day of rest punctuated by the Labor Day long weekend there. In Europe, markets saw some major shutters. Stocks fell 4% yesterday, led mainly by the banking sector. The Stocks Europe 600 index saw its biggest two-day slump since March 2009. At the same time, yields on 10-year Italian bonds were up 27 basis points, the best gain since the Euro's debut in 1999. Speaking at a conference yesterday in Europe, Deutsche Bank's AG's Chief Exec Executive Officer Joseph Ackerman described the volatility as the new normal. Ackerman said conditions in the stock and bond markets are starting to mirror 2008 when the global financial crisis was in bloom. Meanwhile, U.S. President Barack Obama tried to restore some confidence in his home country yesterday, previewing a major jobs package to be revealed later this week. The stimulus will include new infrastructure spending and an extension of tax cuts on payroll. And closer to home, leaders from the Pacific are gathering in Auckland today as the Pacific International Forum Summit gets underway. Fiji, which was excluded the, from the forum in December 2006, is expected to be back on the agenda. However, Prime Minister John Key said it was highly unlikely the leaders would soften their position towards Fiji. Bernard Hickey is back tomorrow. I'm Amanda Morrell, bringing you 90 at 9 in association with the Bank of New Zealand. And just a reminder to join us today at 1 p.m. when Fund Manager Brian Gaynor will be uh, participating with us with our second ever live web, web interactive. So we welcome all your questions and hope that you uh, participate with that. I'm Amanda Morrell.